What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. In the previous video, we had a gambling duel with uh, Lin, which we sadly lost. Like, we got off to a great start, and after that, it basically all went downhill. Seems like we're not that skilled at poker, but surprisingly, we managed to fool Lin once with our facial expressions that she actually cannot read our facial expressions, which is seemingly a thing that catches her interest so yeah it makes us stand out from all the other scum in the slums you know so i guess that's a good thing for tadayoshi all right let us continue i think he was uh, yeah they just sort of said bye bye and then i think tadayoshi is going to return to the church now <sighs> or is this already another time where we're training it seems like it oh i increased my speed a bit but you're still catching up. <laughs> I'm not the same as before. Your training really paid off. It's been three months since I started training with Lin. I didn't miss a single day of training, so I believe I've built up some strength. I'm finally able to catch up to Lin at a pace where she's starting to break a sweat. Seems like he's got some muscle, so I assume it's okay to teach him practical stuff. Lin scans me, or Lin, scans me from head to toe. Why are you staring at me like that, Lin? No reason, but we've, but we've got to stretch before your body gets cold. Sure thing. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I heard that stretching isn't very effective once you've cooled down. I was about to go back inside with Lin to finish stretching. Let go of me! I hear a familiar voice out of nowhere. Isn't that Rosary? Damn it! Lin's already burst out through the door. I follow her in a hurry. Don't touch my rosary! Oh my god, what the hell? They look like military police. I want to say army people. Don't be so rude. Come on, play with me. What the fuck? What kind of military police is this where they're trying to, you know, do this stuff to a nun? Oh my god. I won't hurt ya. Look, we're military police. We're just here keeping the peace. Rad! We're giving you a proper police interrogation. Don't resist. We're just doing our job. I'm pretty sure this is not your job. I'm telling you, I am a nun. I work in a church here. And most of your proper police questions are obscene. I'm not even sure you are military police. They're just cosplayers. Huh? I'll has have to arrest you if you say something like that. Do as we say or arrest you for obstruction. What the f- oh my god, this place is so fucked up, man. Holy shit. People claiming to be po military police are surrounding Rosary, smirking. Don't get cocky, man. I heard those questions. They were here, uh, they were about her measurements and the color of her underwear, oh, please. And you keep claiming to be keeping the peace here? You dogs are nothing but big talk. Huh? What are you saying, immigrant? You're an insurgent. I could shoot you where you stand. Damn. A slum dweller tried to protect Rosary, but he backs off as several officers point guns at him. Oh my god, they actually have guns. Ah, uh, I hate soldiers. Pointing guns at unarmed men when things get inconvenient for them. Oh, they station military police officers in the slums to keep the peace. But it's true, they're all just grunts. Lin and Tadayoshi-kun! When Lin and I arrive, Rosary addresses us in a relieved tone. Lin, don't provoke them as soon as you see them. Hey, look who's here. Check out this girl's rack. And you look tall. I think we'll have to investigate you thoroughly. Seriously, are all guys just constantly sex crazed? It gives me a goddamn headache. Hey, we're just trying to do our jobs. Answer our questions. Oh? Since when is it your job to ask about my bus size? If you resist, you'll leave us no choice but to use this. Point a gun at her. Oh, that guy. That'll freak her out. <laughs> it worked wonders on Jessica in that other zone a while back. You think that's gonna work on me? Wang! 
Lin quickly approaches the officer holding the gun, kicking him in the balls. Oh my god, that's gotta hurt. Oh yeah, that's gotta hurt indeed. Very, very much so. I actually, I remember this one specific time, yeah? I got kicked in the nuts once. It was accidentally though. But I think it was during uh, like, um, you know, sometimes we have like sports days at school. It was during high school. Where it was just like an organized event where it's usually right before the holidays or something where all the classes are playing each other in the sport and yeah it just sort of becomes a competitive day in a specific sport and this particular one year it was basketball that was back when i used to play a lot of basketball as well so i was excited about that but i remember this one particular time yeah i don't remember exactly but what happened but something happened where this girl um it caused her to trip and she was like falling backwards so her her leg swung up in the air and obviously i was sort of standing in front of her i really didn't make her trip or fall something else happened it wasn't my fault and then yeah you, you guess where that leg uh, or foot swing up towards right in my nuts so yeah that was actually really painful and i believe the next day like i think i could still sort of continue playing but the next day I still felt it somewhat so it is a really sensitive area so yeah that's one place that you definitely do not want to get kicked in. Being male I know his pain. Oh look at her Lin to the rescue. Hmm you think that gun's gonna intimidate people? It won't work on anyone. Oh by the way that girl you screwed earlier you might want to get yourself checked. <laughs> She's got an STD. Oh, oh! How does she know that actually? <laughs> it seems Lin's warning, uh, warning one of the guards about something, but he just lies on the ground, foaming at the mouth. I can't imagine any man would survive that strong an impact to his balls. So she's Lin, the mad dog of the slums, and is that boy her companion? We should take him as a hostage. Tadayoshi, move left. Then stick out your foot! What? Whoa! I reacted to her instructions as she suddenly called my name. No! Thud. One of the officers was running towards me, but I tripped him as Lin had directed. You bastard! The remaining officer points a gun at Lin and is about to pull the trigger. Is he aiming at my left leg? Lin! As soon as I realized what the officer is doing, I shout her name loudly. Oh, ba bam! I hear a gunshot, but Lin's gone. Oh, <laughs> was that supposed to be a gunshot? It sounded more like a, a whack to the head or something. I hear a gunshot, but Lin's gone, and the bullet just hits the ground. Nice try. You soldiers don't hesitate to shoot at a civilian, eh? Lin moved faster, faster than my eyes could follow, and she's already behind the officer. You pointed a gun at me. Are you ready to pay for that? Don't mock me, you! The officer's face turns red in anger, but it's too late for him. Yeah! Ah! As soon as he turns to see Lin, her tonfa hits his jaw, knocking him to the ground. Wow! No matter they call, oh no wonder they call her the mad dog of the slums. She dealt with those officers in few seconds. Crap. Was that a whistle? Yeah. Lin shouts just as I hear a high pitched whistling sound. What's going on? A group of officers run in, attracted to the sound. She attacked me while I was on duty. R really? This place is full of immigrants. No wonder the security is so bad here. That's bullshit. You provoked us first. He's right. You officers did it first. Those two are lying. Nobody in this town speaks the truth. You got a point. Rosary and I try to explain to the officers who've just arrived, but they aren't going to listen to us. Those are goons, but there are too many to deal with. I see a cold sweat breaking out on Lin's forehead. It doesn't look so good. Is there a way out of this? I try to think of how to avoid a fight, but if they've got us beat in numbers, I'll have to use my brain. 
officers are surrounding us firmly, giving us no space to slip through. I'm getting desperate, and the situation gets worse as time passes. Damn, my head is getting fuzzy. It's not going to be easy taking them out while protecting Rosary and Tadayoshi, and more will join them if we take too long. I assume Lin thinks the same, given the desperate look on her face. If we get arrested here, we're going to be considered guilty, and injuring a police officer carries a serious penalty. Given the current situation, I can tell no one will believe us. Has the fat lady sung? <laughs> That's actually a skinny guy uh, singing because, you know, I'm skinny. I'm not a fat lady, as far as I know. Just as I'm thinking I'm done for, I hear an engine roar behind us. Even more reinforcements? Isn't sending vehicles to get us a bit much? A commotion in the middle of traffic. What is going on here? I hear a voice, intimidating enough to make me shiver, but I am somehow relieved to hear it. Your timing couldn't be better, Lees. Mr. Tadayoshi, you seem fated to find trouble. So explain to me, what is happening here? Briefly, a woman with an eye patch steps out of the car. Yes, Lin to the rescue. Or wait, Lee's, I mean. <laughs> it's somewhat similar, they both start with an L. Actually, like a fighting duo of Lee's and Lin, that seems like so freaking badass. They could take like a, out an entire army, I think. She seems so intimidating, even just standing still. But she's very encouraging to me, as long as she's on my side. Tadayoshi-sama, are you hurt? Don't worry, my lady. Mr. Tadayoshi looks uninjured. Leave it to me, and please stay inside. Nina st uh, Lee stops Nina from getting out of the car. Thank you for worrying about me, Nina. But as Lee said, I'm not injured at all. I can't see Nina clearly from here, but I shout to reassure her. Tadayoshi-sama, uh... I'm glad you're all right. M my lady? Uh-oh. Those officers are going to die. They've pissed off the wrong people. What will Elise do when she sees Nina crying? The answer is obvious. As obvious as asking why humans breathe. Whoa, another woman with big tits. And she looks like a foreigner. We're gonna have some fun tonight! Oh my god, why is every police, uh, military police officer, dude, whatever, they're all like uh, corrupt or whatever? Oh my god. Look at the little girl in the car. No, please don't. Oh my god, she looks like a doll. We should, we should, uh, yeah, we should have a good time taming her. No, that, that's never gonna happen, dude. Oh my god, some of this just feels disgusting how, how those people, especially considering the fact that, you know, I mean, uh, Rosary is underage, um, Nina is 16, I don't know what the legal age is in Japan, but still, it, it sort of feels like a gray area, you know, so, but apparently these guys don't give a shit, so yeah, I mean, it, I, I can, I almost wanted to say I can sort of understand, but there's, there's no excusing for what the hell they're saying, right? But I can sort of understand the situation of the entire world that this all plays in, because this is all after the war, right? War had just recently ended a couple of years ago or something, and the country is still in some sort of disarray. And uh, I mentioned in a certain part in the story as well that like the there was economic growth, but it's like the richer get richer, the poor stay poor, and um, yeah, the overall ec economy of the, or the the poor aren't just you know they're they're not they're suffering even more, and then you have these corrupt police officers that just take advantage of it, and you know they're supposed to install peace to this entire section or just maintain it, but rather than that, they're just fucking co uh, causing more commotion. <sighs> I don't know what to say, man. They're going to regret what they said. How dare you say such rude words to my lady? I'll oh, get him, Lise. Huh? Your crimes will not be forgiven by your death. Lean moves 
Oh, Lise. Oh, again, I did it again. Lise moves at inhuman speeds when she's really angry. Oh, look at them. I blinked and there were three gone. By the time I even noticed she's moved, she's already finished off all the officers, not even giving them a chance to scream for help. She's ridiculously powerful. She took out all those officers before I could even blink. If even Lin says that, then dang, Lee, uh, Lise must be pretty freaking strong and fast. Even Lin twitches her eyebrows in surprise. That alone tells me how inhumanly strong Lise is. I really think that I made a good choice not to fight her. Hey, what happened? Wake up! Who did that to you? More officers are still on the way, increasing their numbers. When is this going to end? Officers in this country are so fast to react to unnecessary things. I have no time to deal with you goons. Bring me someone I can reason with. Son of a... One of the guards points a gun at Lise, as if offended by her words. Can't these officers do anything but fight? That's futile. Lise grabs the officer's gun. Huh? I can't fire! Here's a tip. The gun you are using cannot be fired when one grabs it like this. You just pointed a gun at me, so I take it you're going to oppose me. I think I can feel his fear, even from this distance. The murderous aura that Lise is currently radiating is far more deadlier than the one Rosary and I felt when we met her the first time. No! No, no! The officer wets his pants in fear! Oh my god, under Lisa's gaze! Oh my god, that's gotta be one intense scary gaze. And it's with one eye as well, you know? It's not even a gaze with two eyes, it's one eye. Imagine if she took the eye patch off, although I have no idea what's underneath it, so... Nevertheless, that's... Dang. He, she made a freaking groan? A grown ass man with his pants just by looking at him. That's gotta be one scary look. You officers are meant to protect civilians, but you point guns at them. And you wet your pants in fear. Japan may have won the war, but I still fear for the future. Lise lets out a sigh, then looks at the other officers. Having just witnessed her strength, they begin to panic. Hey, what's happening? Sir! An officer arrives whom the others address as Sir. The front of his uniform is heavily decorated, so I think I can see why. So, you're their leader. Leaders take responsibility for their men's misconduct, but I don't think you are reasonable enough. Are you the one who treated my men so cruelly? Treated your men cruelly? Your guy started it! And I'm with Eye Patch Lady here. You don't look reasonable. You think the same as those assholes lying on the ground. Mm -hmm. she, she's lying, sir. We were doing our duty and they attacked us. Really? If so, those girls will have to know some pain. Are you ready for that? I mean, come on. It... If you just think about it logically for even more than one second, why would girls suddenly start attacking military police? Like, it makes zero sense, right? Why the fuck? How, how did this guy even become a leader? The state of this military police is just, oh my god, it's a shame to the nation. The chief officer assumes a fighting stance. I am sure Lee's will protect us, but it's better, uh, but I think it's getting out of control. You should retreat with your men. It's for your own good. Huh? I won't let you live wild on my patch, and running would bring shame to the Imperial Army. Lee's tried to convince him, but he's not going to listen. Lee slowly steps towards the leader. If you want to get hurt, I don't think I can spare your life. Good for me. It saves me the trouble of caring about your pathetic life. Enough mocking! The leader forcefully chops her with his hand, or rather, he attempts to chop her. His movements were fast and better than most of uh, than those of his men. I couldn't even see it. 
so I thought it would be difficult for Lise to dodge. Gah! The hand he attempted to chop Lise with is now being pressed against his back. Lee stands behind the leader, her sharp gaze striking him. She was much faster than the leader. Lee's got behind him uh, before I even had a chance to notice. D dang it! The leader tries to grab his gun from his holster with his left hand, which is still free. Ah! The leader moans as I hear the sound of bone breaking. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Just this to her strength, right? Not the fact that uh, I, I, I mean, she, she has all, all the right to, for me personally to, to, to break all of their bones. I wouldn't even care uh, about that at all. But just thinking about it, I actually like it that in this particular visual novel, all the freaking girls, or at least most of them, are so freaking badass and strong, whereas we. The one of mainly the yeah pretty much the main guy in the story the main uh, male protagonist we're actually pretty dang frail and weak and then you have Lin who is freaking badass Lee who is even more badass and dangerous and just deadly and then Rosary I mean she's not strong physically but she's just I don't know she I feel like she has a strong character as well which shows by the fact that she she not only takes care of us but she has three basically just took on an entire family on her own you know that takes strength as well it's a different kind of strength but she's a strong woman as well the gun falls to the ground before he can grab it Lee starts to whisper something to the officer oh my god do you really know who you are dealing with huh if you fight me, it means you are fighting the Rickensteins. At your rank in the army, you should know what this means. It can't be! Aren't the Rickensteins the family of a German general? How is it possible for such important people to be in this place? Believe it or don't, but I won't show you any mercy if you want to fight me. I will just dispose of all of you, report this to the Rickensteins, and have them report to, uh, report to your government. You're just a petty officer, aren't you? I'm pretty sure the top brass doesn't give a damn about a pawn like you. I know you're just bluff- oh, Wait! That emblem on your eye patch! Isn't that- You have two options here. Die now or live in a moment of peace. I see something shiny in Lisa's hand, the one she isn't using to hold the officer's arm. It's a knife! She's really going to kill him! I can feel her murderous feelings from here. Wait! wait The officer's starting to go white. I wonder what she's told him. <laughs> wait, why is he laughing? I think Lee's intimidated him. Uh, his face is as pale as a corpse, and it seems that his will to fight is gone. Guys, we're leaving ASAP. Huh? What are you saying, sir? Beat them for us, sir. Your men want you to fight me. What's your answer to them? Lee's gaze and voice are colder than ice. D that's not the sort of look an ordinary person can give. She's really gone through a bloodbath. I told you guys to leave. Did you not hear my order? Yes, sir. Retreat. As the leader shouts at his men, they va uh, vacate the area. That's so you, Lise. Dang. So, holy crap. The Rickenstein, I, I knew somewhat just from from the previous conversations that we had a little bit with Nina and Lise that the Rickensteins were at least a somewhat influential family. I thought it was more just like in business and that they were just sort of a rich family as well. I mean, they, they had a connection with the, uh, what was it? Kurokawa, I think, or I, I forgot um, Tariyoshi's last name, but 
I think it was Kurokawa, anyway, something like that. But yeah, uh, I mean, rich families sort of have connections to each other, right? Which is most of the time due to business, and which is why I assume that, but apparently the Rickensteins even have what was it like a German general or something the maybe like the head of the Rickensteins the father of Nina is a German general dang didn't expect that sir why did we have to run we could still call for reinforcements idiots we stand no chance against a monster like her sir our fearsome leader is shivering I don't know what's made him so afraid her eyes, they tell me that she's been through hell, far worse than us just surviving the war. I haven't seen a soldier that dangerous since the end of the war. It's best not to get involved. I don't know why our leader gave up, but we had a shot at a lot of good women there. Oh my god, it actually sucks that I have to read this from their perspective, you know? We had a shot at a lot of good women, that makes it feel like I'm included, even though I don't want to be part of them at all whatsoever oh my god all of us but the leader are getting frustrated with our girl hunting our uh, peacekeeping actions honestly we've been working so honest and hard i can't see why we'd be punished for having some fun because you're forcing them it's not having fun you're forcing your Oh my god, do, do I really need to explain this? Like, it, it's so common sense, right? Come on, people. But the leader disappointed me by getting so scared. Hmm? Who is that? Did somebody find us another target? What an opportunity! God hasn't forsaken us. No, no, God. Seriously, if, if God... If this was part of God's plan, I, which I highly doubt if there were a God, then... His only plan for these people would be to... If I were God, yeah? And I saw that these people were on Earth and doing the things that they do, I would just look down at them and just shake my head. And then I would put like... Assuming I have all the power in the world, right? I would put one girl like right in front of them to tease them. And then when they approach her and get like right before them, just the ground would collapse and they would just fall right into molten lava, the core of the earth, hell, whatever the frick you want to call it. I'll even let them visit the Satan of South Park, they'll, they'll heal torture them. Like that's what I would do to them. I don't know how I would suddenly obtain that power, but if I had it, that's how they would suffer. Uh, forget that coward of a leader. Let's go! Please, Nina, thanks for saving us. I'm glad that nobody is hurt. Nina smiles back at me. Mr. Tadayoshi, I told you to avoid taking rash actions. Not only was my lady concerned for you, but that scum cursed at us as well. I am sincerely sorry about that. I'll be more careful from now on. I know it was my fault. Please... Don't say that. I am fine as long as everyone is alright. How kind you are, my lady. Your generosity is so respectful. Please, thank you for saving Tadayoshi-sama and the others. I can't bear to think what would happen or what would have happened to them if you weren't there. My lady, you do me too much honor. Is Leech actually taking that praise to heart? I can see her shoulders trembling. Hmm, you look so strong, but all you do is serve a rich family. The Rickensteins, right? I assume they're rich enough to scare those dogs, huh? Hey, Lin. I know Lise whispered something to the officer. Did Lin hear what that conversation? Uh, uh, hear that conversation from all the way over here? If so. Her hearing is inhumanly good. And the girl who is cowering inside the car, is she the daughter of that rich family? What a big shot. Lin, what are you saying? Rosary tries to stop Lin, but she doesn't seem to care. Is she that repulsed by rich people? I got that impression from the first uh, from her first 
from her the first time we met. There we go. I, I don't know why I tripped over that sentence. You are mocking my lady. Yeah? What you gonna do about it? Oh, Lin, please don't provoke each other. This could be like the best tag team duo in the world. And they're like gonna provoke each other and, you know, be on each other's bad side. Well, if nothing else, you're strong enough to be a rich kid's bodyguard. Eh, Lissalot? How does she know the name? I'll kill you! Murderous auras are emitting from both Lin and Lys. This is not what I wanted to happen. Can't we all just get along? If they clash, I'm sure they'll both be seriously hurt. Hey, there'll be no fighting here. Yeah, tell him, Rosary. Looks like she's ass acting just like a nun. She's going to interrupt Lin and Lise. Back off, Rosary. This is a fight I started. Miss Rosary, you should stay back before you get hurt. But you two shouldn't fight. Rosary doesn't stand back even after both women tell her to. It's getting worse, so I decide to help Rosary stop them. That's enough, Lise. But, but my lady, she mocked both you and me. I can't let her live another day for that. Even Nina is about to get out of the car because she's so concerned about them, but Lise is trying to stop her. You've got a lot of leeway to care about your master in front of your opponent. Lin, stop taunting her like that. Mr. Tadayoshi, stand back before you get hurt too. I have to take care of her. Lise. Nina shouts from inside the car to stop Lise, but she doesn't seem to listen. Lin doesn't seem to stand back either. Oh, this is a dreadful scene. What should I do? That's enough, you two. If you have something to say, say it before you start fighting. Understood? She's right. No fighting. Lin and Lise finally stand back as Rosary and Nina insist, but they don't seem convinced at all. Hey, maybe we should go back and talk this over at the church instead. You guys don't seem ready to end it here. You're right. I want to say a proper thanks to Lise and the others. Nina-chan, do you have any plans today? No. Actually, our original plan had been to come see Tadayoshi-sama. So it shouldn't be a problem. Let's go back to my church and discuss things there. Pfft. I have nothing to discuss with her. Lise, who should accept Rosary-sama's offer? Lise reluctantly enters the car, as she cannot disagree with her master. Lin, you're coming with us. Huh? Why should I have to go to the church? I'll hear what you have to say when we get there. Hey, don't drag me! I forcefully drag Lin to the church. By the way, you called me Tadayoshi instead of boy. That makes me really happy. Huh? When did I say that? You must have heard wrong. Lin denies it, but she is blushing. It'd be fun to tease her about that. Dude, don't push your luck or you're gonna get hurt. Hmm. I probably shouldn't tease her if I value my life. Aww, Nina laying there cutely with her stuffed animal. But yeah. Uh, we're gonna end the video here. Oh my god. It would be so much better if Lin and Lise could get along. But it's sort of understandable, I guess. They they both have sort of strong personalities. So I guess strong personalities, they're much harder to get along with each other, I think. I don't know exactly, but that's the sort of feeling that I get with both Lin and uh, Lise. And they're also sort of lone wolves i want to say like they would rather prefer to just th this her strong per or their per strong personalities actually cause them to prefer being alone rather than you know be dependent on other people and all that like lise is sort of different because yeah she serves a rich family but uh, it's sort of like the officer said 
Lee's probably must have had a, a really, really hard and troubled past as well, which caused her to sort of have this perhaps somewhat same attitude as Lin, but she's just, I guess, sort of been fortunate to end up in a situation where she actually can serve a rich family like that and protect Nina like that. But yeah, I have a feeling that actually Lin at least might not be that different. That Lin is sort of a younger version of Lee's, I guess. I don't know exactly, but yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!